So, today was the day that Oxlade Chamberlain was announced. Cheers for that. Thanks. I 100% can confirm Alex Oxlade Chamberlain will still be an Arsenal player on the 1st of September. Bullshit! Liar! Lying bastards! But, now I've got that off my chest. Fuck Ox. Fuck him. He don't play for us anymore. Fair play to him. Good luck. He was Wenger out at the end of the day, so we can't really knock him, all right? So, he's done. He ain't an Arsenal player. Laters. Um, other than that, the only other thing that's happened on deadline day today is I've had a fucking haircut. And it's made me realise how bald I'm going. Probably watching Arsenal, really. But there we go. Let's start with Mustafi. Um, apparently, Mustafi's staying. Well, there's a shock. Well, if he was staying all along, why the fuck didn't he play on Sunday? Because we could have we could have done with a better centre back than Monreal playing out of position. There we go. Apparently he's staying. As it stands, there's four and a half hours to go, so that could change. But who knows? Let's move on. Um, Jack Wilshere. Apparently Birmingham are trying to get Jack Wilshere on loan. Might as well just give him away, really, because at the end of the day, he's got eleven months left on his contract. So, he'll be a free agent if we loan him. Um, not only that, we'll probably be paying his wages while he's out on loan because there's no way Birmingham, if they get him, are going to pay him 90 grand a week, which he's currently on at Arsenal. So, can't see that one happening. But again, you never know. Uh, where next? Um, Joel Campbell. Yes, he is still an Arsenal player, believe it or not. Um, and he's gone to Real Betis on loan. Fuck knows why, because in my opinion, he deserves a chance. I think that when he did play, he done all right. Nothing amazing, but he did okay. And in my opinion, he, he could do a job for Arsenal this season. Uh, let's go Sanchez. Lexi Sanchez. Apparently Man City have put another bid in after full, um, putting a bid in last night. They've raised it to £55 million. Pounds plus 5 million in add-ons. Um, now, in my opinion, and it is just my opinion, I think he's still going. I don't care that David Ornstein's tweeted that he's not going. David Ornstein knows jack shit. David Ornstein said a couple of deadline days ago, um, Arsenal are not buying anyone else. And then half hour later, Danny Welbeck was announced. Um, David Ornstein also said, Nuri Shaheen, was a done deal to Arsenal. Mm, well, as far as I'm concerned, he's never played for our club. So, another one chatting shit. This guy is the Arsenal puppet. Arsenal tell him what he, what he needs to know, basically, or feeds him in some sort of information to just appease the fans. Um, so, yeah, I think Alexis Sanchez will go. I'll be absolutely amazed come 11 o'clock tonight if Alexis Sanchez is still an Arsenal player. Um, but again, we shall see. It's the Arsenal Circus. Anything could happen. Did, 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 did. Uh, next, Thomas Lamar. Bullshit. Don't believe it. No way have we bid £92 million. Because do you know what? If we were going to bid £92 million, we would have done it fucking three months ago. Load of bollocks. It's been put out there again so that when we don't get him because we haven't bid for him... Everyone could go, well, at least we tried. At least we tried. Oh, poor Arson, he tried. Bullshit. He fucking bullshit. He is bullshit. The club is bullshit right now. We ain't getting anyone. Um, and what makes it worse is looking at them fuckers across the road, Tottenham. They've signed Serge Aurier today for £23 million. Well, why weren't we in for him? Because you know what's going to happen? Now the Ox has gone to Liverpool. Hector Bellerin's going back to right wing back. And we all know who his fucking replacement is when he's out injured. Yay, Debucci. Cheers for that, Arson. Anyway, four hours, 20-odd minutes to go. Nah, 
nothing happening. I'll be shocked if anything happens. But I have been proved wrong enough times. And anything can happen in a transfer window if you pay the money. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you think we're getting anyone? Do you not think we're getting anyone? Does anyone give a toss if we're getting anyone? Maybe the best thing is that we don't get anyone. And then the fans can go fucking ape shit and cause a riot. So I ain't really too fucking fussed either way. Um, even if we only sign one player, it ain't going to be enough. If we sign two, it still ain't going to be enough. So there's nothing they can do in the next four hours or 20 minutes or whatever that is going to change our season around so dramatically that we're going to win the title. So basically, it's all irrelevant. There we go. Let me know what you guys think. One last thing. Um, appreciate all the subscribers that I've gained in the last week. Unbelievable. I've nearly doubled my subscribers. So big up to all you. Big up to all the ones there from day one and I've gained along the way. Um, I try my utmost to reply to all the comments, but wow, you lot have blown me away in the last week. It's like, I need a PA. So yeah, appreciate that. And um, I'll try my damn hardest to reply to all of them, um, even if it ain't straight away. Anyway, late as peeps. One last thing before I forget. Um, there won't be an update at 11 o'clock. Um, it'll be too late and um, I've got things to do. Um, so, yes, I will put an update out there tomorrow of how I think the transfer window went. Not just for Arsenal, but for a few other teams as well. The ones around us, um, the West Broms and the Palaces. <laughs> no, only joking. Um, so, yeah, and I go on holiday on Saturday. So the ones I don't reply to in the comments section, I'll reply over the, the time I'm in Mallorca. So peace and love, peeps. Appreciate all the love. Laters.